Hello everybody, thank you so much for pressing play on my video today. My name is Charlene from stampwithshaw.com. I'm super excited to share with you how to create this. So I'm going to share with you the supplies I use today. The stamp set I used for today's project, I used the beautifully braided and I used that little thank you and this does come with a coordinating punch and if you bundle the two together you save 10% but today I'm just using the stamp set. For my cute little tags you guys I use the stitched so sweetly dies and I used the smallest guys. I used this little one if I can get it out. So I just used the, the two little ones and I ran two of these. I needed two of these in Whisper White and then just one of these in the coordinating cardstock color. Okay. My designer series paper that I'm using today is the Tropical Oasis. Now I did a couple in different designer series papers so that you are able to see that you can actually use whatever designer series paper you have on hand. When you do, if you cut the, what's it called? I'm still trying to, the best dressed designer series paper. These are already six by six. So when you cut it, this is the pieces you're going to have left and that you can use on a different project, which is so fun. So this piece is measured at three and a half by six. And again, like I said, you, if you have, if you're using the six by six paper stack, this is what you'll have left over. So I went to our grocery store, you guys, and I found these really amazing chocolate bars and they were a dollar. They were actually on sale. And so I bought it to try it absolutely loved it and went back and bought another $50 worth. So yeah, what I loved about this chocolate in particular, you guys, now just bear in mind there is nuts in here. So if you know anybody with a nut allergy, <laughs> this is not the chocolate for you. But however, I love it. Uh, it's amazing. What I liked in particular about this chocolate was when you opened the chocolate, there were two chocolates in there and each chocolate is individually wrapped, which I like that too. So this is what we're going to do. So I have my um, Tropical Oasis designer series paper. And again, this is three and a half by six. I use some tear and tape on the back. Now I went ahead and I did it already to save some time. You will notice I did the two shorter ones and the one long one. I am going to come in with my take your pick tool. I usually call it my pick me up tool. And I'm actually just going to remove all the backing. Now, I will also have pictures and detailed description over on my website as well. So I encourage you to head on over there. And I do love hearing from everybody. So let me know what you think. I'm just going to take my chocolate bar. And the side that has no sticky, I, I am going to bring it up, fold it over, and I am just going to roll it, you guys, just like so. And basically, I rolled the tube. And now, I'm just going to pinch these ends, like so. And that, my friends is your adorable little bar. Super cute. So I have my stamp mounted. I've got my black memento ink. And what I'm going to do, I went ahead and I die cut two of those. Remember I said you need two because you're going to stick them back to back. And in the middle, you're going to stick that smaller piece. Okay. I didn't like, at first I had it like that but I didn't like how it looked on the back. So I thought, okay, I could stick another piece on top and then you could put a heart with your name on it. And it was perfect. So I got my thank you. We're just gonna stamp this thank you right in the middle, like so. I'm gonna give that a second or two to dry. At first, I used the detailed trio punch. Now I will tell you, 
I did have a little bit of trouble. You will notice on the side, I had a little bit of a trouble getting it centered. Now, I am very, um, that would bug me like crazy. For some, it may not, but that would bug me. So, I just wanted you to see. Now, what I did when I used the Detail Trio Punch, I came in with a sticky note, okay? And I lined it up in the middle, just like so, and then pushed that in and punched it. Now, I found that that was a little challenging, time-consuming, because I like to make sure my stuff is very centered. And so, for today's video, I'm just going to use my one... 8 inch handheld punch it's easier it's quicker and just like so easy peasy so what I'm going to do now I've got my multi-purpose liquid glue I love this glue because it gives you a few minutes wiggle room so I can add my glue right in the middle I can place my tag on top I'm just going to make sure I, it is where I need it to be. And you're going to give it a second or two. And then I'm going to... Now, before you glue this down, you may want to write your name because I found it's easier to write your name before it's all glued down and put together. Yeah, I found that out the hard way. So you are going to... And again, it gives you some wiggle room. So you can get things lined perfectly, just like so. You can set that off to the side. Now for these two here, I use the beautiful, what's it called? Crinkled seam binding ribbon, you guys. It's so pretty. Can't even explain how pretty it is. Very nice. So I use that for these two. But for this particular project now, the one we're working on, I'm using this guy. And this is Mint Macaroon. Mint Macaron. Mint Macaroon. And this is the sheer linen ribbon, you guys. Nice and thin. Um, I think this is a 1 8 inch, probably. Anyway. So what you're going to do, you're going to feed this through like so. I did find by me using a glue dot. So what I did was I picked up a glue dot. I rolled it into a little ball and like made it like a little ball. And then I put it behind this and I put it on here. And that's just going to keep my tag in place so that now when I go to tie my ribbon it doesn't like move it kind of stays there and it just it makes it a little bit easier so where's my paper snips I got my paper snips I'm just gonna cut that off just a little easier to work with and then all you're gonna do you guys is tie a cute little bow now let me know in the comments you guys if you want to see me die cutting these pieces. I always figure it's just quicker and easier. But if it's something you want me to you want to see me do on camera, I really don't mind. Honest. So I'm just going to pull my ribbons nice nice. Do that. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to pluck this up. Turn it over and I'm going to gently and carefully Remove my glue dot because we don't need that. That was just to hold it in place. Now I can push this up, put it exactly where I want it, maybe cut off a little more excess. How stinking cute. So cute, you guys. And again, you can use any designer series paper that you have. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to share this with your friends. I hope you all have a wonderful Wednesday. Please join me back here on Friday and I hope to see you all then. Take care.